possible to make a competitive deck by buying one box and prize support? In this challenge, I will buy one box from each set as they come out and make a deck from those and what I win from entering constructed format tournaments, meaning no trading and no online purchases. If you only get a box of each set, can you play Star Wars Unlimited competitively? Welcome to the Star Wars Unlimited journey. In this episode, we're going to open our two packs of even one, edit our deck, and play it in locals. Goggleman here. Welcome to the Teen Garage channel. I hope you enjoyed the series. Please roast me in the comments and feel free to roam around using the time codes. Subscribe for the vibes and see you in the next one. All right, yeah. Leah first, always, right? Yeah. No, two. You do Thrawn first. You do Thrawn first. You do Thrawn first. Yeah, Leia's on the come up. Showcase. Oh, showcase. Okay, Throw the back. Uh, <laughs> I got those. Got this. Over, oh, nice. I have another. Oh, nice. I needed this too. Oh. Yeah, but these are nice. These are really good for what I need. Got a high V Darth Vader. Close. Close. <laughs> they doing the same thing, right? Doing the oh, Chewy Pack. Oh. Oh, it's fucking oh, the IG. So used. oh my gosh. And double red IG. Just play that. You have the deck right there. Look at that. Look at that. Who would have thought? Oh, that's my third. Oh, nice. I needed the two tubes. Ooh! Wow! That's what he said. I'm going to talk to you. Love okay. to see that's it. Pretty juiced. That's so juiced. That's <laughs> In your deck. What do you need to make your deck? Come get me for it right now. Oh, I'll wait. I play one cunning in my deck. Right, you could literally so like build the rest of the oh, yeah. deck with Oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> like Cody will make that happen for you. Yeah, why don't you? No trading. I'm not planning on trading this hyperspace foil cunning off just yet. I have plans to change the series later for cards like this. And when there's no price support, etc., etc., etc. The deck still works the same. We're just going for base, unless something either stops us or slows us down, like restore. We're taking out two cards, one metal ceremony, and one Bethic two tubes. And we are now adding our one spark of rebellion and our freshly pulled Sabine the unit <laughs> uh, to the deck. And so yeah. So we added the spark of rebellion into the main to counter boba to get rid of those key cards that will just blow us away so it was nice to have that in the deck i also took out two tubes because he's a unique unit so we can't have two of them out so you know kind of changing our odds so then we don't get two of him is probably more ideal to have more playable cards accessible so that's why i took the two tubes out at that point before we get into games, if this video has helped you at all, check out my other content. And if that also helps you, please comment, share it, and like. And you can click the link below to get your free thing with your email. Alright, so now let's get back into the games. How's it going? <laughs> Alright, so I ended up running late to this tournament, so I just was rushing in. I have my normal setup, so like, they're, they really use and go by the table numbers here. So I can't just have a setup, so I'm just doing the first hands, right? And I ended up getting my first win right away. I was playing against an IG. Um, I didn't get to see a whole lot of the deck. I just cleaned them out, turn four, the game, you know, it was, it was over. And uh, he was super nice about it. He was, he was going to get a buy, so it would have counted as a loss for him. So he was like, well, why not take the chance of going against this random guy who just showed up? So uh, luckily I... Oh, I gotta get going. But I ended up winning the next round too, and I'll get back to you on that later. So I did talk about how I won 
My second game it was against another kind of a newbie player. He was testing out a deck. He was between two decks. And I was like, just pick one that you want to play for fun, you know? And uh, it was a Palpatine of some sort, and it just didn't really come together. I had a lot of experience playing against a Palpatine, so it was also just like a favorite matchup because I knew how to play against it. So I ended up winning that. And then after that, we played against a Boba, and it was like a very uh, competitive Boba deck. Uh, he knew what he was doing. He was playing it since the beginning. So like, I didn't really feel bad for losing. It was pretty close still. His deck was just more consistent than ours. So and he ended up taking it in its best of one. So, you know, there's no siding. I am basically planning to be sided in, but at the time I didn't really know what to put in against Boba. But like, we're also limited on cards. So this is kind of how the game is. Uh, so then our last and final game, we ended up playing against like another rogue deck. Um, it was a blue, I just remember that it was something blue and we just crushed it. We just had so much damage on board and it was just kind of blew out the whole <laughs> thing. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate that we didn't get any of the content of the gameplay. I didn't know how, that, how the format was going to go at the start. So I was just planning on voicing over all of the gameplay. But the gameplay audio ended up being really useful. And it was actually kind of worth it having it in there. So <laughs> yeah, here we are. Um, so, you know, the quality will get better over time, all right? <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for next episode. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining me in this challenging journey. Let me know if you have any questions. Wouldn't it be crazy to have a Star Wars Unlimited uh, alternate format tournaments like competitive and Twin Suns formats? Um, it'd be cool to have another one of those with our series. Let me know in the comments if you like it. And we also have a Patreon and to a special thanks to our two first members. We have Adelaide and Alexander. Thank you so much for joining us. Goggleman, Team Garage, subscribe for the vibes.